This power plant in East Austin could play a role in keeping the lights on the next few days. It has special jet engine generators to produce electricity when demand increases. Sites like this one and the recent effort to weatherize major producers provides a level of confidence for energy analysts like Doug Lewin. I do not think we will see, um, I don't think we'll see extended outages. I think if there are outages, they're probably going to be fairly uh, short in duration, and I don't think we'll even see outages. Tuesday, Governor Greg Abbott scaled back his level no, of no confidence. One, no one can guarantee that there won't be a, quote, uh, load shed event. Well, I thought it was pretty striking to hear the governor say no one can guarantee there won't be a load shed event. And, um, you know, that was in direct opposition to what he told you uh, famously, Rudy, just a couple months ago. Can you give right, a guarantee that the lights are going to stay on? I can guarantee the lights will stay on. We'll get a good indication. And we'll also see if any of those power plants drop offline, not because something broke, but because they couldn't get fuel. We're already hearing I'm already hearing rumblings that people are emailing me stuff and, and DMing me stuff about there, there are somewhere between a gigawatt or two gigawatts of power in the Dallas area that, that will not be operating because they cannot get fuel. That's hearsay for now, I want to be clear, but like we want to watch that and, and, and there will be reports three days after on which plants were out and why they were out. Natural gas suppliers in Texas are regulated by the Railroad Commission. The head of that agency Tuesday said the industry was ready. We've introduced ways of, of not having things freeze up like methanol, heating blankets, heat tracing lines, those kinds of things. I don't think we will ever have a reliable grid unless there's better regulation of gas supply. And that doesn't mean, it doesn't have to be heavy handed regulation, just some very basic low threshold. A lot of natural gas, according to Lewin, comes from the Eagle Ford in South Texas. He believes suppliers there will weather the storm. But it's the companies in the West Texas Permian Basin that he's watching. So if the statewide number only drops 6, 7, 8 percent like it did back on January 2nd, that should not give us any comfort if the Permian drops by 20 to 25 percent. Because what we're worried about is another storm like last February that blankets the whole state, and, this, and then the statewide production would drop. Does that make sense? So I think the real key metric there is, is, is what happens in the Permian. 